Mobility Cup! Here we go! Yeah. 29 sailors from as far away as Hawaii and California have gathered in Lunenburg for the Mobility Cup. Rene Dallaire traveled from Montreal and uses sip and puff technology to control his boat during the races. When I want to control my sails, I will sip and my sails will come in and I puff and my sails go out. They're straws actually. And I do the same thing with the uh, rudder as well. Jerry Burns came across the country from Vancouver for the event. For myself, uh, my left arm is super paralyzed, so I, um, I'm using just right, and, um, and so I use basically a joystick called Nautil Helm, and it's just like the one on my chair here, and uh, left and right uh, hydraulically moves the rudder. The boats are Martin 16s, which can be specially adapted for accessible sailing. They have a really, really heavy lead keel, so they're untippable is kind of the idea. They, they can't tip over. Um, for some people that might be strapped into the boat and can't swim very well, um, that's really important. The Lunenburg Yacht Club put in a bid to host the regatta a year ago and spent $250,000 upgrading their facilities to become more accessible. For the first time in over 75 years, our clubhouse is fully accessible. There were always stairs or a very small steep ramp to get into the building. Now everything is up to what is coming up in Nova Scotia, which is a 2030 accessibility standards code. A new 30-foot ramp was added, which is 48 inches wide, to enable the sailors to get down to the water. Every year it's a lot of the same faces that you've met at the, other, at the past uh, events, and they become such awesome friends. And, um, and they're right from all over, really, North America. You know, you got San Diego, Hawaii, and all different locations. And, and uh, when you see them again, it's just so, so awesome. Sailors are divided into two fleets, Gold Fleet for experienced racers and the Silver Fleet for those new to the sport. 